Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be solving this problem that came in JE mains 2019. Uh, a similar but easier problem got repeated in JE advanced 2023 as well. The question, it's given that uh, two masses M and M by 2 are attached together with the help of a light rod and they are suspended by a light string about its center of mass and, that, and it's given that the torsional constant of this string is K. So, so basically the problem is the rod is now twisted by an amount of theta naught into the plane. This string will apply a restoring torque of K theta naught. When the rod reaches, so if the rod is displaced by an amount of theta into the plane, the restoring torque that the string applies on the rod is K theta, right? So that const, the torsion K theta, that would be equal to the I about the axis of rotation, which is center of mass in this case times the restoring alpha, okay? So now we have to calculate the I about the center of mass. So for that, we need to find the distance of the masses from the center of mass. So if we wanna find this particular distance of mass M from the center of mass, let's say it's R1. So R1 is simply going to be M by two, the opposite mass divided by the total mass uh, times the length between the so this R1 is L by 3. So the other distance is going to be 2L by 3. So now we can find ICM to be the M to be the mass times the distance from axis squared plus M by 2 times 2L by 3, the whole square. If you solve it, you'll get the answer to be ML squared by. So now we can find the alpha restoring to be K theta divided by ml squared by 3. This is an important relation. So the restoring alpha is coming out to be proportional to the angular displacement from the mean position. This means that the rod is performing angular SHM. And an important concept in SHM is that the velocity amplitude at the mean position, we always write it as A omega, right? So in the angular terms, we write the omega of the rod at the mean position to be the angular amplitude which is given to be theta naught in this case times the angular frequency of revolution right and which is basically the square root of this term so that will come out to be square root of omega at the mean position will get it to be theta naught times the angular frequency which is 3k upon ml square so now as we have the omega at mean position if we draw the fp now the conditions are this is mass m this is mass m by 2 and this is the axis about which so we have found out the omega now so if you look at the mass m the tension t by the rod is providing the required centripetal acceleration for this m to move around in this circle right so we can write the tension t to be equal to m and the distance from the axis is l by 3 so l by 3 times the omega squared so if you solve this, you'll get the answer to be k theta naught squared divided by L. So that was it for this problem. It was a great problem. So for in the J advanced 2023 question, what they asked was the omega of this revolution. So in that case, the answer would have been root 3k by ml squared. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.